everybody, this is Tim. Welcome back to another episode of Boone County Beekeeper. Now, uh, today is uh, Thursday. It is the uh, 11th day of May. It's about 6 o'clock in the evening, and I'm going to tell you guys, it's warm. It's, uh, it's been in the 80s today. It's Right now, it's almost 80 degrees, about 79 degrees, and it's, it's warm. Uh, shade's starting to come over, so I'm going to try to Go ahead and get in these girls. Uh, today what I want to do is we want to uh, transfer this swarm. If you remember, I caught this down at uh, my house. Uh, it's actually the second one that I've caught there. Uh, the first one went in the plastic hive, if you remember. I want to get this one into to a new box. And uh, they've been up here since uh, Saturday. So like I said, today is Thursday. So I, they're a little cranky. I think they're ready to come out of there. And we're going to give them a, a new home. Uh, tell you what I'm going to put them in. Uh, I'll tell you the story on that real quick. Um, back before Hive Life, I ordered some uh, wax dip equipment. I've never fooled with wax dip equipment before, so I ordered some from Appalachian Hivery, uh, Dustin Wiggins. And the poor old fellow, I was supposed to pick them up there at Hive Life, but uh, Dustin had a run of bad luck. Uh, you remember, he... He had a barn that uh, burnt to the ground that had a lot of the equipment in it. Then uh, on the way to Hive Life, he had a, a truck that broke down. So I didn't get my stuff at Hive Life. But uh, I want to say this about him. Now, he is a, a great guy, and that is a great company, and they are very true to their word. Now, um, as I was leaving there, he told me, he said, look, he said, I'll tell you what we'll do. He said, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll ship it to you. He said, I'll just eat the shipping which would have been a lot because he had a lot of orders still left to fill. And uh, a couple of weeks later, he sent me an email and he said, I'm not going to ship it. He said, I'm going to deliver it. Uh, he said, are you in a hurry for it? I said, no, just sometime, you know, April, the first week of April or before will be fine. So uh, time went on and we kept up with one another. And I tell you, the poor old fella, he traveled. <laughs> He went, he, I think he said he went from Sturgis, South Dakota, down to Dallas, over in Louisiana, up the East Coast, up in the North. About four weeks worth of, uh, of driving and delivering. And uh, when he called me, uh, he said, I'll be there Sunday uh, in the middle of the day. I said, all right. So I said, I'll meet you in between church. And he said, that's fine. So that morning he called me. He said, hey, so I'm going to be a, a little bit late. He said, uh, I'm running a little bit behind. So where are you at? And he said, uh, Connecticut. I, <laughs> well, guys, if you don't know where West Virginia's at, that's, a, that's nowhere near Connecticut. So I knew right then it was going to be a little late. So uh, do you know what he did? He actually, he, he kept on delivering. And I was actually the very last guy, the very last delivery that he had. And do you know, uh, he brought it. And uh, we talked that night before I went to bed. I said, look, he said, can I just set it uh, somewhere in your driveway? I said, no. I said, when you get into town in Madison, I said, you call me. And I said, I'll be up. And uh, But he did. About 3.45 a.m., the phone rang, and I got up and ran out on the porch, and I met him. And I was out there at 4 o'clock, me in my pajamas, out there we was unloading the bee equipment and stacking it on my porch. But hey, listen, great guy, Great products. Uh, these, these wax dip boxes, man, they really seem like they're, they're, they're going to be okay. Uh, if you notice on my other videos, I've got some over here on the uh, on my regular hives over here. And today, what I'm going to put this in is a cypress box. I've never fooled the cypress box. Don't know anything about it. I'm going to try it. Uh, everybody says a lot of good stuff about it, and uh, we got one from him. So that's what we're going to put these girls in now. I don't know uh, what we got, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest. Uh, this might be a fairly good swarm. I don't know. Uh, let me get it here where you can see us. I know that uh, I just took a peek in there when uh, I brought them up to make sure the frames was okay. And I've seen bees sitting on almost every frame, so I don't know. Now, it could have been all the bees was just up on the top where I'd bounced them up there. I don't know. Well, let's get set up and uh, we'll see what we got here. Just bear with me for a second and we'll get them. I brought an old bottom board and the sweat is absolutely just rolling in my eyes. I'm going to have to be like Randall Carter, I believe, and get me a sweat band. Man, it's, 
It's hot and this suit is hot too. But I love this suit. I sure do. I like it a lot. So there is the cypress box. Let you see it here. Hold on. Let's see what we got. We'll load these girls up and just see what to, what's in the box. Now, uh, I bought, I'll tell you what I bought while we're doing this. I bought from him, I bought a uh, this cypress box. I bought about four deep uh, pine boxes and I bought, uh, I think, three or four uh, mediums and then I bought a couple uh, telescoping covers and uh, that's what we're going to put on there today but man listen he's not paying me to tell you this I trust me uh, I paid him actually uh, great guy and, and it seemed like great product so if you get a chance he I think he's from around somewhere around Cookville uh, Tennessee look him up guys and, and give him a chance uh, I don't think you'll be uh, disappointed so there's my plug for today let's just get in here and see what we got yeah, we got a pretty good bit of bees. Now, don't see no queen on the uh, lid. I see a few ants, though. I'm going to set this right here. I do see a few ants. And uh, we'll see. Hopefully, they've got a queen. Uh, we'll let them go for just a little bit and uh, see what they'll do. I love this swarm trapping, guys. I really, really do. I love it. Oh, man. That's a good-looking bunch of bees right there. Uh, right there, the first one I pulled had the queen on it. Let me show you. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Right there's my queen. Another pretty little blonde queen. She's pretty, man. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get her in the box. Keep an eye on her. That's good. We know where she's at. Uh... I see eggs, so uh, let me see where she went. She is a laying queen. Let's see, she's went over on the other side. Make sure here, guys. Definitely don't want to lose her. Yeah, I don't see her now, but I know she's, there she is, I see her. Okay, so we're good. So we have us a queen. And we know she's safe. We we'll set her right there. She's protected. She's on the outside. Uh, little fellas getting fired up. They don't know what's going on. They've been stuck in that box. Just looking down, looks like we got about uh, three or four frames of bees here, guys. That's good. Uh, starter strip. And I did see eggs. I did see eggs in that, so. There's our starter strip. Uh, they're storing a little nectar in that. I do see a few eggs down in that. So that's a good start. All right, I see some there with pollen. Uh, they've got pollen on them. So that's good. All righty, guys. I tell you, that's a whatever reason that's a hot spot down there at my house right in the city it's crazy okay here's the old brood frame uh, here's the old brood frame that i had in the swarm trap uh, you can see that good looking bees that's a pretty good sized swarm guys this will make us a good colony um, those cells there we've got nectar uh, i see uh, some pollen and looks like everything else is all polished up and shined up we're getting ready so we'll get this in here that was pretty good luck finding the queen on the very first one all right so the next two i remember now all i had was mediums nothing on them so we'll uh we'll just go ahead and Finish filling that up with some deep. Okay, so about three frames of bees, guys. That's pretty good. So, still got a few in the box. We'll shake them out. So, guys, uh, not a bad deal. 
been a very weird year so far on the swarms. Uh, last year was crazy, and I believe this year is going to be just as crazy. I know uh, my buddy the other day, he caught three in one day. Hadn't caught a swarm all year, and he caught three in one day. That was, uh, I think, Tuesday. So that's uh, it's starting to kick in. For whatever reason, I fear it'll be early this year, but it seems to be a little later than normal. Uh, let's talk just a minute about the... the the tulip popper, uh, you know, down at my house, I told you, full bloom. It's everywhere. And uh, up here, I'm looking, I see one bloom right there on that tree. Uh, just one, but it's got pods everywhere, so it's getting ready to start. Uh, for whatever reason, up here, I don't know if it's the elevation or just the way the sun hits, something. But on everything, it's a, it's a week to two weeks behind. I know our autumn olive, uh, it was about a week and a half, two weeks behind on it as well. But I will tell you this, we got a little honey, and uh, if you watch that video, uh, let me tell you what I did. I went and, uh, I went and uh, checked the moisture on it, and uh, had a few frames, it was really good, a few frames wasn't, so uh, what I did, I'm just going to set that trap right there, they'll fly over, I'll be over here and get, I'll have to get a top cover here in a minute, what I did is I, I took it in my daughter's old bedroom, my wife didn't like it, I put a uh, dehumidifier in there, and a, a box fan for like two and a half, three days, and uh, we got it down and bottled it, I got the about almost 39 pound off of that so we done really good um, I've actually done sold most of it uh, everybody seems to like it I tell you I really like it I've never had it before it's really light uh, got a really good flavor similar to the uh, the basswood without that little mint taste that's good it's about 39 pound got the moisture down to 16 and a half so I thought that was pretty good uh, I did before we got in here I went ahead and I brought those supers back up placed them on my, my colonies uh, the colony the furthest that way I didn't pull it uh, it had a little honey in it but I'm gonna tell you them bees was for whatever they was a little behind they are exploding now and uh, <laughs> I went through them and that, that them supers are absolutely they are packed with bees so I think if we get a good flow, uh, we might do some good. I know, man, it looks like missiles going in and out of there right now. So uh, it's just getting started. This is the time of the year that I like, guys. So uh, we'll see what happens. Well, we got them all confused. That's what we wanted to do. Uh, I got to walk over here and get my, my inner cover. It's, it's laying over here. I forgot it. So, guys, that's about it for this video. And I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, if you don't care, hit that like, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, you know, that's what gets this material out for everybody. And uh, I just appreciate you being here with us. Appreciate everything, all the wonderful comments, guys. So uh, if you don't care, uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, I want to say uh, God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your bees. I hope that uh, you and your family are well. I hope your bees are well. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful season. I hope everything goes really well for you. So guys, uh, thanks again for being here. This is Tim, the Boone County Beekeeper. Thanks for stopping by.